I'm a little oh. drunk, I won't lie. <laughs> oh. Oh. Hey, Rab. Oh, oh, this trudging up hills is playing havoc with my old bones. Yeah, buddy, oh. you wear yourself out earlier from looking at those magazines. I mean, reading the articles. Oh. Oh. Right, oh. reading the articles. Oh. oh, well, don't tire yourself out, darling. We all want to be bright-eyed and bushy-tailed for our big day. Come on, let's call it a night, huh? We're right there! We are right there! We are just inviting stupid shit to happen by spending the night right he Oh my god. This is how stupid shit happens, friends. This is how the stupid shit's going to happen! Oh my god, so, Rab! You were killing me inside. Just put him down and be done with it. He's nervous. expendable! Serena, why don't you play that song? You know, the one you always used to play when we were children. <laughs> song time, buckle in. Yggdrasil looks so magical at night. It's strange to think that each of our lives is a leaf on one of those branches. Hmm. Yeah. And it's really like the old man said. There's some kind of heart in there that all life comes from. Yes. When someone dies, their leaf withers and falls, and their soul returns to the heart. When someone is born, a new bud blooms on one of the branches. Hmm. I suppose it won't be long now until we finally face Mordigan. Do you think if we can beat him, my father will go back to how he once was? Oh. You play an instrument too, Veronica? Huh? Mm -mm. No. The High Priest gave it to me. He said it would... help us. It belonged to our ancestor, Serenica. She left it behind in Arborea, apparently. Well, I don't know about the rest of you, but I'm pooped. What do you say we all get some beauty sleep? I guess we are just... yards away from that fucking altar, though, which is killing me inside. Oh, we're talking. Veronica. Sister hmm? talk. We were born at the same time. So our leaves bloomed at the same time, didn't they? Do you think they'll fall at the well, same time? Clearly too? not. Veronica, through bullshittery, is now hmm. younger than you, I Serena. Don't know. You've always been a bit slow, to be honest. <sighs> Hey, it's that altar. Turns out it wasn't a hallucination. It was real. Oh my god. I can't believe it. Alright. What happens now? I can only speculate. Well, there's no mistaking it. This is the altar. An astute observation is always Iraq. Aye, you're not wrong there. Go on, laddie. Get the orbs out. Let's see what happens, shall we?
Rainbow Bridge? Is that what this is? Oh my, it's quite twisty. A bridge made of rainbows. It's beautiful. Looks like it's finally time for our date with Destiny. Come on, we'd better not keep Yggdrasil waiting. Okay. The we're here? We're at the world tree? Somehow there's a well up here. Somehow there's running water up here. This place is crazy. Alright, what do we got here? Superior medicine? Hey. So if I just start plucking leaves, are people gonna start dropping dead? That's wait, oh shit. Oh shit, was I supposed to do that? Oh sh I didn't read the text. Oh shit. Oh wait, I, I think we're fine. Hold on. Oh, okay, this does go back to Erdrear. Okay, yeah, I didn't I didn't mean to do that. My bad. Okay, that's how you get out of here. Gotcha. Or alternatively, you could probably just cast the zoom spell. One can only assume. These little weirdos are up here too, huh? These little ghosties have been shadowing me throughout the whole game. Perhaps we'll get some answer to whatever those guys are, huh? That's what I'm curious about. Ooh, H still do. That stuff's good. Up we go. Is that a fairy? Oh my god. I swear I just saw a glowy ass fairy thing. It was just a beard. Yeah, it might just be a bird or a flying fish. I don't know why there'd be a flying fish up here. Of course, I don't know why there's a lot of things up here. Couldn't tell you. Hold on. I imagine there's a bunch of cool shit up here. Should probably loot everything we can before. Oh god, we just picked a leaf! Does that mean someone died? Oh god! Oh no! That's. Oh no! Okay, this looks like a thing. The heart of Yggdrasil. Oh, is that a sword? Oh, snap. Kinda looks like a one handed sword. Hmm. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. It's bigger than I thought it would be. It's the source of all life. It's not exactly going to be small now, is it? Hmm. It's so fascinating. I'm sort of scared, but... I want to touch it. And that is your natural instinct now, isn't it, Silvando? Wanting to touch things you shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, get that sword, yo. Ah! Oh! Ow! Well, that's not very nice. The naughty thing gave me a shock. Hey, man, some people pay good money for that. I am so it should. I doubt the world tree would let any but the one who bears her mark near her holiest of holies. All right, Wigchop, get all up in that holy. <laughs> After all, only he can wield the weapon destined to dispel the darkness. The Sword of Light. Original name. That's sarcasm. Now, ah. It's time to reach into the heart of Yggdrasil and claim your birthright. No. Only you can do it. Only you can save our world. Shut up, Grandpa. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we job. Go nab that sword that you're never going to use. Hey, it's that guy! I knew he was gonna show up! Yep. Bap. Get fucked, wig chop! <laughs> you fucking scrub. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. I think we're in trouble here. Yep, it's that jerk. <laughs> Damn you, Jasper. How did you find us? 
find you. <laughs> Did you witless vermin not realize I was following you all along? I forgot to look behind me. Shit, I should have known. <laughs> oh, Jade swooping in. Hey, didn't we beat him up already? <laughs> Could have sworn we beat up this guy already. What was that? I think it was a force field. Now, now, princess. Such boorish behavior hardly befits one of your station. Do you not see that you are utterly powerless to stop me? <laughs> oh dang, our crew just got fucked up. Can't move. Hey, we chop. Now, tremble before me. Tremble with gratitude. Your sacrifice shall pave the way for my ascent to glory. Come, Luminary, all of you, on your feet. The Tree of Life shall be your place of death. <clears throat> okay, we're fighting now. We were fighting a guy we've already fought before. But now, he has some glowy ball up in his shit. That's something. All right, that's fine. This will give us a new opportunity to use this new spell we got. In full. Wait. I thought I cast oomph on all of our party members. Oh, you done tricked me, game. Fine. Cast on Jade, I guess. So it just makes your attack power a lot better. Okay, multi thrust. <laughs> What? Oh. Um. Hmm. That's a problem. We did no damage to him. Alright. Let's try the old cutting edge. This always works. It, uh. It didn't work. Um. Hmm. <laughs> this could be a problem. Maybe a fuddle dance! I think this might be one of them uh, scripted fights, friends. Zamo. Uh, alright. Alright. Okay, that, that hurt a lot. Uh, <laughs> Thunder Thrust? Nah, it, it, uh, it, okay, no attack can get through. Perhaps magic attacks? Magic attacks? Okay, until the dark barrier is broken. Right, how do I do that? Do I have an item or something that I... Wait. No, I don't... Oh, okay. Alright. <laughs> alright, um, alright. I, I guess... I guess it's just one of those scripted things. Are we just gonna stand around till we die? Which is real dumb. Until the barrier is dispelled. How the fuck do we dispel the barrier? Uh, am, I could have been missing something, I guess. Darkness explodes from Jasper's orb. Jesus. Well, this is just stupid. If this is scripted, then why even put me through this bullshit? Thank you, game. Thank you. <sighs> I can't get through that aura. What? What is it? I bet if it's we had a power <laughs> like of which we've never seen, could he be? Surely not. The dark spawn? Oh, is he the real dark spawn? Shit! I wanted to be the real dark spawn. Maybe if we had a a weapon blessed by Yggdrasil herself. We could cut through the darkness. If only we had a weapon like that. Ah, shit. Oh, well. Like that one, right there. Well, shit. I guess this game over, friends. Kind of a stupid way to end the game. With a scripted battle like that. But, hey, what are you gonna do? 
I hope he ends the world, like in Final Fantasy VI. Oh, God, that'd be awesome. That was such a cool <laughs> way to do it. Please end the world. So this is the heart of Yggdrasil. Whosoever controls it, controls the world. Or so they say. Not one step further, Jasper. Handrack! Hmm? Yep, there's that guy. Oh, and the king's here too. Why? Now you see it with your own eyes, sire. He is no longer himself. The darkness has him entirely in its thrall. How long he has deceived us, I do not know. But deceive us, he has. Jasper is a traitor to Heliodor and to the world. <laughs> Confess, scoundrel. Just how cheaply did you sell your soul? On second thought, spare me your wretched excuses. In the name and presence of his majesty, I pronounce you guilty. Prepare to face your punishment. Guilty of what? Hmm. Mm. Ah! <gasps> Majesty's a dick too. Ah! I hate all these guys. You have served me well, Hendrik. Your, your, your Majesty, what is the meaning of this? What's all this? Oh, look at this feller. My dear Jasper, it seems you have snared us a luminary. Very impressive. It is an honor to serve you, as always. So this is the guy? Lord yep, that's the guy. All right. <laughs> Finally know the bad guy of this game. So that was it. The king was... He was Mordigan all along. Hmm. Now, Luminary, you are in my power. And soon, your power will belong to me. Son, oh, snap! He just tore his heart out. That's fucking awesome. So, this is the power of the luminary, the key that unlocks Yggdrasil's heart. <gasps> and this blade is the fabled sword of light. Not very fitting for the Lord of Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> the sword of light, what has he done? Almighty Yggdrasil, source of all life. Yield your power to me. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Holy shit, is he actually ending the world? That's awesome! I mean, all the it looks like all the leaves are dying, so does that mean everyone's dead? That's metal as fuck, dude! If Yggdrasil falls, the world will... I think Yggdrasil just fell. I think that's a dead-ass tree right there. I'm no botanist, but I know a dead tree when I sees ones. Record your activities in the adventure log. Yeah, alright. I think... Let's go ahead and do that. Wh oh, we're in a lake or an ocean now? What? Why? What happened? We chop! You're not a luminary anymore. You need that means destiny doesn't have your back. You gotta forge it yourself now, like the rest of us idiots. Congratulations. <sighs> What's the matter, dearie? Can't you sleep? No, Mum. You're still upset about your little fight with Gemma, eh? She started it. She hit me for no reason. All I did was draw eyebrows on Sandy. <laughs> Oi, don't laugh. Look at this great big lunch she's given me. I see it. And I saw the one on her head, too. You gave her that, didn't you? Yeah. Now you listen to me, my lad. There'll be plenty of times in your life when people upset you and you feel like lashing out. But no matter how much it hurts, and no matter how much you want to hurt them back, you don't go looking for revenge. You do what's right. I... I want to be friends with Jebra again, Mum. What should I do? Why, you talk to her, of course, you big silly. Ask her what she was feeling and why she did what she did. Try to see things from her point of view. Once you've done that, the rest is easy. You just smile and hold out your hand. Mm. That's my boy. Now, time for bed. Night-night, Mum. Night-night, son. Don't you worry about a thing now. It'll all be all right in the morning. Good night, sleep tight, child of Yggdrasil. The sun is sleeping and the night is still. The stars, they watch over you with twinkling eyes to ward off the darkness till dawn arrives. Have you found him yet? Not yet, master. Our forces have scoured the four corners of the world. But the luminary is nowhere to be found. He is dead then. Good. If that is the case. Then this world is mine. Oh, yeah, I forgot. We have homies under the water. Oh, yeah. We did a solid for some mermaids. Yeah, okay. They may have bailed us out. Wig chop. Is that you, buddy? You all right? That is you, right? We're not playing as Eric now. Or we've been reincarnated as a fish. What the actual fuck? All right. Weak Chop has lost the power of the Luminary. What? Weak Chop is a fish? Like, you know, 
literally now. <laughs> I mean, figuratively speaking, he's always been a bit of a fish, but I mean, right, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> Hi. Oh, you're awake, you're alert, you're alive. Your breath was getting shorter, you couldn't breathe the water, but look at you now! It's an unequivocal miracle! Queen Marina! You wanna explain what the fuck's going on, fishman? Uh, alright. Hey, mermaid, descend, okay. And flow upward. Okay, new controllers. We now have 3D controls, gotcha. It's wonderful to see that you've awoken finally. You've been sleeping ever since you fell into the sea. We're safe down here, but awful things are happening ashore. Speak to Queen Marina if you wish to find out more. Her Majesty awaits you in her palace to the north. If you're feeling fit enough, I'd urge you, I'd urge you to go forth. Hey, that reminds me, there was a shark here that I could have bought stuff from. I'm assuming now that I'm a fish that I can speak shark. Right? Uh, one can only assume, correct? Hello, shark. I am now going to speak your language. Oi, oi, what? What have we got here, then? You yeah, ain't ever know I get a fish swimming in me shop. You've got a bit more than your lily livered mates, ain't ya? Yeah. Do what you have, lovely jubbly. I reckon you and me are gonna get right along just fine. The only problem is, I'm all out of stock. The delivery fish ain't been coming around these days. And I've always sold the stuff I had. Nothing I could do in it. Ah, shit. Well, maybe next time, new friend shark. I can't believe we're a fucking fish now. This shit is weird. So is this going to turn into, like, after the world ends in Final Fantasy VI, where we now are on a mission to find our old friends, and in the meantime, since we've been playing around as a fish, they've been up to all sorts of wacky hijinks. Man, this shit is getting wild. This is... This shit went to an, a direction I did not see coming. That is for damn sure. Okay. Now, I remember beforehand, I had to talk to the mermaid to uh, ascend to this place to talk to the queen. Now that I'm a fish, I imagine I can just do that myself. Now, I know it'll probably be faster to talk to the mermaid, but this is something I have to do, damn it. Hey, Queen Nautica, or Queen Marina, my bad. recovered from his wounds. Then let us expedite the plan. It must be done, and soon. <gasps> Your Majesty. Don't fear for me. I'm not done yet. Until my work is finished, I'll find the strength to carry on. I shall not be diminished. No. Ah. Hello. Fish guy here. Ah, there you are, old friend. <laughs> or should I say, new fish? You make a finer flounder than I'd ever dared to wish. I'm a flounder? Ah, oh, man. When first my subjects brought you here, it gave me such a shock. To see you bruised and broken like a ship wrecked on the rocks. The Lord of Shadows thinks you dead. The sea swarms with his spies. I changed you to this fishy form to hide you from his eyes. Many troubled months have come and gone since your arrival. As you slept, my healers strove to safeguard your survival. You cannot know how glad I am to see you fully healed. But soon the spell will fade, and you must once more take the field. I have a plan to see you safe. That's all I've ever wished. If all goes well, you'll soon know what it feels like to be fished. Yeah, what's that? Forgive my haste. These strange events must take you by surprise. You have so many questions. I can see it in your eyes. I saw you battle bravely by the World Tree's holy heart. I saw the Lord of Shadows tear your fellowship apart. I 
I saw you strive to fell the fiend, and how your plans were vexed. When you are ready, follow me to see what happened next. Yes, I am very curious to find out what happened. Last I saw, I just, I don't know. I just got fucked with, like, thrown to the ocean, then, then I'm a fish. <laughs> I don't know. I've, I have so many questions. Okay, I'm assuming I'm going up. Am I going up? Yeah, uh, no, okay, clearly that was not the correct way. Where the hell? South? Wait. Oh, here. Descend. Okay, my bad. Sorry. I'm new to this whole fish thing, man. Okay, cool. The private chamber. Alright. Oh, there you are, queen. I need some damn answers, and I need them now, man. This whole thing has got me a little miffed, I won't lie. What's all this? An eons passed since last I brought a human to this cave. It is the private parlor of the Queen Beneath the Waves. Behold the Pearl of Wisdom, jewel of we the ocean's daughters. It lets its bearer view the world through any drop of water. I've summoned up a thunderstorm to saturate the ground. Now, let's ascend into the rain and take a look around. Oh, that's wild, man. So you can see anywhere that there's water? Dude, that's like everywhere. Whenever you are ready, touch your fin against the pearl. And you shall see what's come to pass there in your airy world. Bow guy. It's mega happen. Wig chap. Ah, the world did end. Holy shit. Fuck yeah. That's a dead ass tree. The once fair land of Adria is now a ravaged shell. When Mordigan destroyed its heart, the holy world tree fell. Upon its fall, the world was with a searing storm despoiled. Trees and grasses burned to ashes. Lakes and rivers boiled. Burning boulders fell to earth and pulverized the land. Mountains cracked, and realms were racked at his unholy hand. In one fell swoop, the Lord of Shadows ended countless lives. The lucky few who rode the storm out struggle to survive. Their days are filled with desperation, misery and tears. I see them quake and tremble, but I cannot calm their fears. Shit, it's a bunch of dead folk. Please, help! Somebody, please! Is someone there? Fish shop, help the girl! Do something, fish chop! Oh shit! Did you actually do something, fish chop? Wait. What the hell was that? Our homes are gone. Our families and friends, too. All we have left is our lives. We can't just sit down and die. We have to keep walking. 
We have to keep following the hero. They say he's built a fortress south of Heliodor. If we can make our way there, we'll be safe. <gasps> 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 Don't give up, okay? This hero guy won't let us down. Once we get to the last bastion, everything will be fine. You'll see. A few more short steps lead from darkness into dawn. Safe haven awaits. <sighs> Is that Henrik up there? Oh, Henrik was that guy that saved that kid. Oh. Okay. Amid the black depths of despair, a spark of light still shines. A man who gives the people hope in these benighted times. Yet that light too shall soon succumb to evil's ceaseless claim. Only you can take that spark and kindle it to flame. Yggdrasil has crashed to earth. Her light has disappeared. In her place, the Lord of Shadows, Citadel of Fear. He took the sacred world tree's power and now makes it his own. Foul Mordigan commands the world from his unholy throne. His forces seek to steal the souls of every last survivor. His flying servants sweep the skies. The seas swarm with his divers. <laughs> Alizarin, the fiend that seeks to devastate my nation. Another one of Mordigan's detestable creations. I've cast a spell to hold him back, but need it to be stronger. The barrier's at breaking point and cannot last much longer. I'd hoped that I could save my realm. It was a foolish notion. Compared to his, my strength is but a raindrop in the ocean. Ere long, the barrier will fall, and Nautica will too. Marauding beasts may take my life, but they shall not take you. So what's going to happen here? Are you going to save Fish Chop? Our time grows short. I fear my kingdom's race is nearly run. My place is with my subjects now. We face our fate as one. Seriously? Are all the mermaids going to die? That's fucked up. I didn't know we were going to deal with genocide in a Dragon Quest game. Holy shit. Shit is getting officially real, friends. Shit is crazy! Alright. I think it's official. I kinda thought I knew the direction of this game when I when I started playing it for a few hours, but now holy shit. I don't even know anymore. It just took this gigantic turn and I I don't even know where to go from here. Hey guy, what am I doing now? Queen Marina's convened her subjects in the central square and she's about to make a speech, I beseech you to attend too to listen to her lecture. Everyone's a so I keep thinking these guys are gonna speak in rhymes, but uh, clearly I'm mistaken with the fishermen. Everyone's assembled already. Go, go now. Okay, fine. Jeez, sorry, guy. Okay, everyone's assembled. All the mermaids and the fishmen. That one sweet ass shark dude is there too. How curious you are, my friend. I showed you fearful sights, and yet those wide and watery eyes still gleam with limpid light. It seems that grief and tragedy have followed you since birth. Cruel fate's dark plan has stalked you to the corners of the earth. Hey, look at that. Fish chop still has a luminary sign on his fish belly. And yet you've weathered every blow, prevailed against all strife. You've brushed with death a thousand times, yet still you have your life. 
It is the will of Yggdrasil that you are still alive. It is your fate to save this world. For this, you must survive. Bright luminary, let the light shine on the world again. Find the fading sparks of hope and kindle them to flame. You'll find the sparks I speak of here and there throughout the land. They are the former members of your staunch and stalwart band. The fire within their hearts will light the path that you must tread. Find your friends and bring an end to this dark age of dread. <sighs> While the Luminary lives, there's hope for people still. You cannot fail. You must prevail. It is the World Tree's will. <gasps> Beware! The barrier shakes and breaks! Oh, shield, look at that guy. of Shadow's followers give fond farewell short shrift. I had so much to tell you, but it seems I must be swift. <sighs> Do not lose heart. Do not look back until your time is through. <sighs> Remember, you're the luminary. We believe in you. Okay, it's pretty rad getting to know you, mermaids. Sorry about the whole genocide thing. That's a huge bummer. I mean, I wish I could do something for you, but I'm kind of a fish right now. Citizens of Nordica, give your lives to the Lord of Shadows. <laughs> <laughs> what happens now? There's a boat, and I'm still a fish. All right. I guess, uh, oh, here's a thing. Are we about to get fished up? Is that the play here? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we're about to get fished. Great. There's a big juicy prawn dangling in the water. Better take a bite. Well, this guy's still alive. All right. That's cool. Apparently not everyone's dead. Sky's kind of fucked up. That doesn't look natural. Oh, Blue John's hooked himself a big one. Could it be the legendary man eating mackerel? Let's reel him in and find out! <laughs> yes! I caught something! I actually caught something! Blue John's gonna eat tonight! <sighs> Maybe there is some good in this forsaken world after all. Hi, wig chop. Not a fish anymore. Who, who, who the heck are you? I, and what were you doing on the end of my hook? Uh, used to be a fish. Not a fish anymore. Thanks for fishing me up, I guess? I don't know. I don't care how hungry you are. You don't go pinching the bait off another man's line. Sorry, jeez. <laughs> Oh, quick job. Hey, no. Don't cry, Sonny. Wig Chop, why are you crying? Badasses that forge their own destiny don't cry. <laughs> Look, I don't know what's got you sniffling, but it must be something serious. So listen. Blue John's gonna help you out. We fisher folk have gotta look after each other, ain't we? I think humanity just has to look 
out for each other at this point, right? You can stay the night in my hut. There's none too many safe places left in this rotten world. But it'll do you for a day or two. Thanks, Blue John. When you're ready, you're gonna head over to the last bastion. They'll see you, right? The fella running the place is a bony Fido hero. Right, now that's decided. Let's head for shore. Hold on tight, lad. Things are about to get choppy. Alright, uh, thanks, Blue John. You're alright. The last bastion. Hold on, is that the Emerald Shore? Award for accepting the advice of Queen Marie and setting out from her undersea kingdom to kindle a few remaining embers of hope back to flame. Yeah, I recognize this place. This is the Emerald Shore. Yeah, this is where that one's king's uh, place was. I don't know, where we got that red orb that one time with Iraq. Remember? Yeah? No? Whatever. Ah, hi there, Sonny. So you finally roused yourself from your slumbers, eh? <laughs> Blue John and say good morning. But there ain't no morning to speak of these days. Is it eternal night? You hadn't noticed. Why, we've seen nothing but dark skies since the day of the disaster. <sighs> Just look at the state of it. Shit, man. That is wild. There was an almighty booming and rumbling. And then great gouts of blackness started billowing up from the castle over in Heliodor. Since then, nothing's been right. That was the last time any of us saw the sun. Whoa. So the world did end. That ain't good. We better hide and fast. What? Hide from what? Oh fuck. Ooh, that was a close one. Them monsters started pouring out of Heliodor Castle about the same time as the blackness. The rotters seem to think they own the place. They've never come so near before, though. They'll be looking for food, I'll warrant. And there Blue John was, thinking he'd found himself a safe spot. Listen, uh, seems the victuals round these parts are set to get mighty scarce. I hate to send you packing, Sonny, but I reckon you'd best be on your way. Fair enough. You'll be safer over at the last bastion, anyhow. Go on and get yourself over there before the monsters spot you. That hero feller will look after you, I'm sure. He's a good in that one. A spark of hope in these dark old times. Steer a course due west until you hit Cobblestone Falls. The last bastion lies just beyond. Mind how you go now, sonny. All right, thanks, Blue John. You're all right, man. You're one of the good ones. Holy shit, the fucking world ended. That's awesome. Well, sort of. It's just a kind of a shade of purple now. That's fine. I mean, eh, no, I don't want to. I'm just going to save it. Listen, holy shit. I know there's all sorts of crazy shit happening, but I'm going to call it an episode, man. I just need time to process this shit. A lot of stuff just happened. We were a fish. We were a fish. Fucking fish! That shit is wild! Anyway, we're gonna try to make some sense of this mess next time. I'll see you then. Bye bye.